Today, we will be looking at PixArt Alpha. Just today, they released pre-trained weights with diffusion integration, a hugging face demo, and a Google Colab example. Let's take a look at the hugging face demo. Click on this link to open it. That will launch a Gradio Web UI, where we can enter a text prompt, along with other options to generate an image. I'm going to generate a duck sliding down a water slide. If we scroll down, we can see additional options. We can select a negative prompt, an image style, the seed, guidance scale, and number of inference steps. I'm going to leave everything default and run it. It put me into a queue of five people. It really doesn't take too long to get through the queue. We can run this in Google Colab so we don't have to wait in a queue. We will look at that next. And after that, we will install it locally. This requires 23 gigabytes of GPU RAM. I only have 12 gigabytes, but for demonstration purposes for this video, I will install it anyways. Yay! Our duck is generated. I'm going to save this and open it with Microsoft Paint. 1024 by 1024 pixels. Great! Next, let's try the anime style with the same prompt and let's see what happens. That does not look like a duck. Maybe the training data set for the anime model didn't have any ducks. Let's try photographic next. Diving headfirst down the slide. This is the way. Let's try cinematic. Well, that slide appears to have a bit too much water. There is also an option for 3D model. I'm not sure how that is supposed to work because it generates a PNG image. Let's try it. Well, that duck looks like it is having an absolute blast. Excellent. Let's check the example image of a cactus. A very happy cactus. How about this one with Albert Einstein in a cyberpunk world? That is pretty cool. What if we turn this into an anime? We have a cyberpunk anime, Einstein. Anyways, next, let's check out the Google Colab. Let's click on this link to open the notebook. The first cell installs the required modules. When that finishes, scroll down and run the next cell. This one imports Torch and the Pixel Art Alpha pipeline from diffusers. Next, it will download the new weights that were added today. It is over 20 gigabytes, I believe, so will take a while. And now we are ready to generate the image. Let's go to the next cell. This will generate an alpaca made of colorful building blocks with a cyberpunk style. I had to Google alpaca. It basically looks kind of like a llama. What does a llama look like, you might ask? A llama looks kind of like a goat. What does a goat look like, you ask? A goat looks like an alpaca. You're welcome. It has finished, and here we have it. You can right-click and save this image to your hard drive. What if I change the prompt to be about ducks? How about a colourful duck sliding down a colourful slide in a cyberpunk style? Ha! I love it! Sunglasses and some sort of harness. Is that climbing gear? Well, this is very interesting. I'm going to have to save this one. Now to install this locally for those of you that have a GPU with over 23 gigabytes of RAM. My 12 gigabyte GPU was able to run it, but it took a while to generate. I have created a fork of the repository, modified the README page and requirements, and added a Gradio Web UI, which has the same code as the Hugging Face demo. I created the fork an hour or so ago, and is already six commits behind the original. It looks like there were only README changes in the original. Anyways, if you want to use the latest, you can clone from the original. But if you want to clone from what I am using in this video, you can use my forked repository. Let's get started. First, we create the Condor environment. Then we clone the repository. I'm going to clone from my forked repository so it serves as a snapshot of the working install at the current point in time. Then we must install PyTorch with CUDA 12.1. And finally, install the dependencies from the requirements file. And now we can run it with this command. 
The first time you run it, it will download the model files, which will take a while. It will automatically launch the web server and open a browser window to the web UI. I will enter the same prompt as the one I entered in the Hugging Face demo. We can scroll down and select from the advanced options, the same way we could in the Hugging Face demo. I'm just going to click on Run. In my test earlier, this process took about 15 minutes for me. It will generate a PNG image and save it in the root folder of where the application is installed. Here is the image that it had generated for that prompt when I ran this earlier from my local machine where it took 15 minutes to generate. This thing is still going. I imagine it will take about the same amount of time again. I just wanted to show the local install option for Windows if you have a GPU that can generate the image in a reasonable time. For me, I think I will end up using the hugging face space to generate the images. And if the queue is too long, the Google Colab, since they will generate much faster since I don't have a capable GPU for this application. Anyways, that is all for today. Thanks for watching. Enjoy!